Hey, church family, can you believe it's been this long since we've been together? Man, I think maybe we took for granted when we used to come together and worship. Here's our worship room. Man, does it feel like it's just been forever since we've been in here? We used to come in, we'd see each other, we'd give each other hugs. Man, how I miss those times. I can't wait for the time when we get back together. You know, one of the things that I love so much about the way we worship is that we ask everybody to sing with the instrument that God gave us. You know, we sing a cappella, and it doesn't matter if you're old or young or male and female, we encourage everyone to sing. Because we believe here at Comanche Trail that singing is not for singers. Singing is for believers. And I can't wait for the day when we come back and we get to sing all together. You know, when we sing together, one of my favorite parts is hearing each other's voices, right? Everybody's voice has a part, kind of like in God's church, right? We can't all sing the same part. We all sing these different parts and it comes together and it's harmony and it's beautiful because it's us offer, offering a sacrifice to God. But you know what? Sometimes what happens in this room is the sound just kind of goes up. And it doesn't come down. You've been there, right? You've sat in a, a chair in church and, and you've gone through a, a service and you've thought, man, it felt like I was singing by myself today and there was almost 300 people here. So what we want to do is we want to try to create an environment where when we sing, it's so uplifting to us that we offer our best worship to God. You know, all of us have been a part of worship experiences in our life that have just been kind of mountaintop experiences, right? Whether it's been at camp or, or maybe a church you've worshiped at at another time. And part of that is when the singing is just incredible. You guys remember when we've been to those area-wide singings? We went down to Panhandle that first time and we were packed in that room and the building was pitched like this and the sound just felt like it was just never ending. And we all walked out of there a little bit levitated with the worship. You know, that doesn't happen in our room. And so the elders and deacons met this week. And what we want to do is we want to install an acoustic cloud ceiling. And so what that's going to do is we're going to hang these acoustic panels from the ceiling. And when we sing, the sound's going to go up and then it's going to come back down to us so we can hear. And then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to raise the roof with our worship. I'm so excited about this project we're going to start. Raise the roof. Raise the roof for excellence in worship. The elders and deacons have approved for us to do this project. But this project costs money. Actually, it's going to cost about $38,000. And that may seem like a lot, but we actually got bids for this project in the past, and the numbers were north of $50,000. So we've got a local company that does this type of work, and they've got us a really competitive bid. So to complete this project, we need $38,000. But this is not budgeted money. And so what we've decided to do is we've decided to start a campaign that's going to be supported by you, us, the members, right? So we're going to raise this money so we can raise the roof in our worship. So here's how the campaign's going to work. We've got to get to $28,000 before we can start work on this. Because once we start this project, we've got to be out of our auditorium for two weeks. What great timing God has given us, right? We're not meeting in the building. Here's an opportunity. We can improve our room, and when we come back to worship, we're going to raise the roof. I'm so excited about Raise the Roof campaign. It's actually already going. The campaign has only been active for about 24 hours, and we've got over $10,000 raised. $10,000 in pledges. God gives the increase, family. God gives the increase. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pray about being a part of this Raise the Roof campaign to improve our worship to God in our singing. I want you to pray about it. Consider to be part of it. And if you want to be part of the campaign, here's what we want you to do. We want you to pledge money. We want you to hold off on giving us your checks right now, but pledge the money so we can get to that goal of $28,000 so we can start the work and then crossing the finish line at $38,000 so we can cover the entire project with cash and not affect anything with the church budget. So here's how you're going to make those pledges. Get a hold of me. <laughs> my information, my contact information is in the bulletin. You can find my cell phone. You can find my email. Let me know how much you want to pledge. I'd love to hear how you're excited about this project, how we can raise the roof for worship. 
Thank you all so very much. I love you. I can't wait to see you again. I can't wait to sing with you again in this room when we lift our voices in praise to him, the one that made everything. I love you very much. We'll see you guys later.